Hello everybody, it's the Brick Lord here, back with another Ninjago video, and today is another set review, and I'm super, super excited for this one, because this is the Legacy 10th Anniversary Boulder Blaster. And without further ado, let's just dive right in. This set consists of two builds, obviously the enormous Boulder Blaster, and a side Anachondrite Prison. And this set also contains four minifigures, uh, legacy, like two, uh, legacy rebooted and slash whatever, two Lloyd and Cole. You guys can tell what I can't spit out of my mouth right now. Um, but legacy two Lloyd and Cole, Izor, and then the exclusive 10th anniversary collector's edition Golden Kai. But for now, I'm just going to scooch the minifigs and the build, the small build off to the side, and we're just gonna start right with the main focus of this set, which is the Boulder Blaster. So, this thing was, it made its first appearance in season four, and the actual name of it, I guess, in the show was the Roto Jet, but the overall kind of scope of this, there's the large barrel on the front, there's this cockpit area center, and then there's also the large wings there on the back. And yeah, I mean, so let's just get started. We'll start kind of here at the back. There's the exhaust port here. And like I mentioned, the large wings. This uh, this new Legacy Boulder Blaster is significantly larger than the original. Now, I did not personally own the original, um, but I know that this is significantly larger than the original one. I mean, not by a like large amount, but by a significant amount though. And so yeah, um, there is two stickers here, uh, one here, one here, and then there's two more here on this like back, you know, fin here. Um, but yeah, um, great detailing on this whole back wing piece itself. I like the sticker here. And then there's also plenty of open studs, which honestly does not bother me because you can pose figures on it. You could even recreate the Garmadon versus Klaus scene for starting up here. Um, so yeah, also great reuse of this piece here. Uh, this piece was first introduced in season eight for Ninjago, and it was not in season eight. It was in just plain like black, and it's been recolored here in gold. And yeah, I'm super excited that we got that piece. So yeah, very good start to this set. Moving kind of here in the center now. Um, also great detail. Love this cockpit piece. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's new. Um, and maybe it's just in a theme that I'm not too familiar with, but I don't recognize that cockpit piece right off the top of my head. So if anybody knows in the comments where specifically, if that's not a new piece, um, I would appreciate some new insight. Otherwise though, there's two little wings here, one on each side and there's just really actually great detail right in here. There's gears, uh, nice use of this like triple tooth piece here, um, even old Western handgun pieces, uh, a sticker here, the little arrow piece down here, just lots of fabulous detail put into the whole midsection of this. It's just really well done. Um, and then obviously the, the cockpit opens. So yeah, super excited with that. Um, and there's really pretty darn good detail. Um, orange seat in there. Nice printed cockpit piece, or, you know, console piece for the cockpit. Um, so, yeah, really good there. And another one of these pieces with a sticker here. And, yeah, just lots, again, lots of tremendous detail. Really happy with that, uh, in that aspect. Um, and then, lastly here is... The main and best part of this part of the build here is the actual blasting cannon feature here on the front. And boy, does that just look monstrous, though. Um, I'll see if I can kind of face that towards the camera better for you guys. But yeah, it really does look great. And super cool feature. So the way it's activated is right there. Whoa, didn't mean to shoot that that quite quick, but... As you can see, you turn the gears here and it'll shoot those off. So you can very much rapid fire these and those are going everywhere now. So, you know, long lost spring loaded shooter pieces. Um, I 
we'll collect them here in a minute. But yeah, pretty happy with that. And that feature still is incredible. And I'm glad that they brought it over just as well from, you know, back when the original one was made. So very happy with that. And it works so well, if you can tell there. So super happy with that. I'm going to scoot the main boulder blaster now, kind of out off of the main way here. And some of those bolts that are still miraculously here. <laughs> and we'll get to the second and last build of this set here. And it's just a small anachondrite prison. It's nothing, you know, incredibly major or anything, but it does the job. And it gives you something to shoot at if you don't have anything else besides just like any other builds or the minifigures in this set. So, yeah. Really simple here. I mean, there's some foliage. There's the main prison door, some bones on the side. A little bit of nice kind of shrine-ish detail on the top. And then there's the Anaconda logo here, which if you guys watched my original when the sets were revealed video and I gave my thoughts on them, I said, looking at this set, I said, I have a feeling that this disc on top of the door here it was going to be a feature where you can shoot it with the boulder blaster and open the door. And how much you want to bet that I was right, because that's exactly what it was. You can shoot this with a bolt and the door will like drop open. So very simple, but well done feature. More than happy with that. And it works super well. So yeah, I mean, you can easily, you know, have... I'm just going to put Cole just purely because he doesn't have any accessories. But yeah, I mean, it does work pretty darn well. You know, you can put them in and it opens. So, you know, not much you can complain about. Whoa, the build here. Um, sorry about that. But yeah, so it does work well. So very happy in that sense. So yeah, I'm just going to move on to the figures now. And yeah, that'll about conclude it. So bring in our minifig stand here and the first one I'm going to start with is actually the villain here Izor so we'll bring him right up here and yeah very happy with this figure um as I never really did get much from the tournament wave originally um I'm pretty darn happy with this figure I'm gonna scooch the camera in just a little bit for you guys here just so we can get a slightly better look at him but yeah, very happy with this figure. Um, just give you a brief overview here. And yeah, more than happy with it. So I'll remove his bone axe there. Come on, focus. Come on, camera. Come on, please focus camera. There we go. Sorry about that, you guys. Just poor camera wants to act up right now. Um, but yeah, so super happy with this great leg detail. I like the legs in that maroon color, which we don't see legs in that color too often, but good detail on it. Great toe printing, in fact, really. Um... And then moving up, he has the leather jacket and big belt buckle, which looks really good. Um, and then the short, you know, short sleeve design, basically, or I should say no sleeves design, and then black gloves. And then that face print with the one, you know, eye taken out, gouged out, silver eye, and the snake printing really looks good. And then his mohawk, there is no back head printing for obvious reasons. And then there is that anaconda logo printed on the back there so pretty darn good figure and yeah turned out pretty darn good a great legacy version whoa <laughs> a great legacy version though of of that character moving on we'll go to cole here and like i said or i started at the beginning of the video but this is kind of legacy 2 tournament rebooted uh robes for the ninja and he looks pretty darn good um, I'm not too in love with like these. I mean, they look good as Lego figures, but seeing as we haven't really seen them in the show at all, it doesn't do a whole lot for me personally, but I still think it's a good figure. So yeah, I mean, pretty solid, 
great detail love the belts all around Cole here really one of the best parts of this figure I think he turned out really really good I'm gonna just so you guys can see a bit better a detail here on him but yeah really solid printing nice copper there for uh, the Ninjago text that goes across his torso I don't remember exactly what it says I want to say it's just earth maybe if I'm not mistaken um, but yeah and then removing here I'll remove his hair and mask piece if if I can new pieces are always difficult to get off there um, but yeah if you there we go and there's his face and turning him around real quick good back printing uh, the orange is nice and then also is alternate happy face so yeah very good a uh, very good figure actually like I said doesn't mean a whole lot to me just because we haven't seen this suit in the show and I really like the stuff that we see in the show more but honestly though not a bad figure in the slightest and pretty darn well done uh, as far as a legacy kind of rebooted mashup for legacy two robes so yeah whoa I am losing pieces all right and now we're gonna go to Lloyd this is legacy rebooted legacy 2 Lloyd looks pretty good um, so yeah again looks pretty darn good Ninjago text across his torso either it says energy or Lloyd um, you guys can let me know in the comments below I don't really remember I didn't take time to read the Ninjago like text to translate it out and I can't remember off the top of my head so but has this standard silver sword he's had for some time, but I'll remove that here. And yeah, overall good printing, nice leg printing especially. Um, yeah, good back printing as well. Very happy with that. And then I'll remove his hair and mask piece for you guys. Again, not this, not like you guys probably haven't seen this Lloyd face like a million times over, but. If I can get it off, maybe. Let me just remove it here and see if I can't really pop it off here because new pieces, man, new pieces. If anybody knows my struggle, please let me know because it's a struggle, new pieces sometimes. But there we go. That's what his face print looks like. And turning him around so you guys can see his back face print. But yeah, super happy with uh, Lloyd again pretty darn happy just in the sense of like it's a good and very well done figure again doesn't mean as much for me personally because you know seeing as I never they're not in the show it doesn't do much but yeah still very happy with it and the last whoa and the last thing of the set is that is the best part of the set for me personally and the my main motivation for getting this set and it's the legacy golden collector's edition kai and this thing looks incredible it's by far incredible so they do all come on that little stand there with the printed 10th anniversary ninjago tile there and the little bit of stand and each one will have kind of the color of the ninja there but i'll just remove it from the stand here just so it'll stay better and i can show you guys more detail here but incredible leg printing absolutely great and i believe all of the ninjas share that leg printing um across the you know 10th anniversary ninjas that torso printing looks incredible love that belt that has kind of a sog design in it great use of his symbol there and really just amazing robe detail and everything this figure looks so great and then the mask is the legacy uh, mold of the mask in gold and red and well in removing that is Kai's face which you guys have probably seen a number of times over and also his back facial print maybe come on camera come on focus there it is and now you guys can see his back facial print um, and then let me I will remove the armor here just so you guys can get a brief look at the back of his torso here and it looks really 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 good 
Um, yeah, super great detail. Super happy there. So yeah, not a whole lot else there. Let me put my anniversary Kai back together here. And so I can keep him in pristine condition here. Whoa, if I don't lose the pieces, if that is. And I'll set him back on a stand off the side. And yeah, that wraps up this set. I'm going to try to bring everything sort of back into frame here real quick. And whoa, man, my ninjas don't want to stay up today. Alrighty, perfect. And so yeah, this will conclude this set review. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This is a super awesome set and I would recommend picking it up. Um, especially if you did not get the original Boulder Blaster. I think this set is even better than that original one. It was a really great design. Fun build. You get that incredible Kai figure. So yeah, super happy with this set. Without taking up any more of your guys' time, I will see you all in the next video. So, bye!